Hi, my name is Nancy Servi, and I'm one of the full-time volunteers here at the Kirtland Temple. And today I'd like to tell you a little bit about the Johnson, John Johnson family. Let me tell you how it starts here in Kirtland. I'm reading from Luke Johnson, um, one of the sons who writes this. Soon after Joseph Smith moved from the state of New York, my father, mother, and Ezra Booth, a Methodist minister, went to Kirtland to investigate Mormonism. My mother had been laboring under an attack of chronic rheumatism in her shoulders so that she could not raise her hand to her head for about two years. The prophet laid hands upon her and she was healed immediately. Let me show you a picture of, of Luke's mother. Her name is Ezra. And she's kind of a scary looking woman, kind of very stern looking. But as I did more investigating, I realized that this woman um, started giving birth to children in 1800 when Alice was born. And in 1829, she had her last child, Joseph. Um, so for 29 years, she was producing 15 children, the Johnsons. And I, I especially like Luke. Um, and let me show you his picture, a very handsome man. I like Luke because um, uh, the, the Johnsons kind of moved in to a property behind the temple, and Luke Johnson had his, uh, his house right where I live today. The house is long gone, but, um, but the property's still here, and this is where I'm lucky enough to live and, and look out at the temple. I like Luke because um, of the enterprising of he and his brothers who lived right along him in a whole row here of houses. And I'll show you this. It's a picture of a magazine article, and a newspaper article, dated August 14th, 1836. And the gist of it is Susan Johnson is um, opening up a millinery in a dress shop here in Kirtland. She wants to um, invite the women of Kirtland to come and buy dresses from her as she would make their bonnets or their dresses and it just lets me appreciate the enterprising of the early saints that lived here and how they could eke out a living um, building the beautiful temple and surviving these these days so um, when I hear the Johnsons I have a special place in my heart for them.